welcome to Raccoon City Survivors. I'm your host, Adam. Uh, so today we'll be playing a bit of Resident Evil for a series that we're starting, which is called The Road to Raccoon. And yeah, we're pretty much just going to be running through all the numbered Resident Evils. Um, so I think to today we're going to be starting off with Resident Evil Remastered. Um, I'm not going to do the full gameplay in this video, obviously. I'm not going to do the whole thing in one sitting, because that's just... No one's got time for that. I've not got time to play it, you ain't got time to watch all that in one go, it's just a bit a bit ridiculous really. But yeah, so here we go. In the Alkali Forest. We all know the story here. Eh? Yeah, it's Kevin. So he's a helicopter driver in Resident Evil Zero. Which is that's the one game I will not be playing because I can't stand it. I think it's awful. I really don't like the layout of it. It's disgusting. No item boxes. What are you talking about? There's Joseph. Here he is. Lad, lad, lad. So there we go, we're going to kick off any moment now, with the dogs. There they come. We'll just be thankful that uh, it's not as cheesy as the PS1 version, the intro, with the dodgy actors. God, that was, I hated that, I couldn't stand it. I enjoyed the game overall, but just those bits, and all the cheesy voice acting. Not here for it. Resident Evil 2 is where it's proper started for me. Yeah, we'll be playing as Jill, by the way. Okay, let's. I still like to know how Chris went missing. I know obviously Wesker had something to do with it, but he's right next to you, love. What are you doing? Chicken shit, Brad. There he goes. If you've read the books, you'll know that uh, in the books everyone calls him Chicken Shit Vickers. Here we go, the Spencer Mansion. It's where it's happening. Okay, let's begin. Enter the survival horror. It's a mansion. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. We don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris. No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. Stay sharp. That was a bit aggressive. There we go. Why is that so weird? A dining room in a mansion. Okay, let's go. Usually I'd skip all these videos, but just in case you guys are into it. Just 
Just God, there's a lot more uh, scattered ammo and health in this one. In the PS1 version, it was awful. You were pretty much dead on your ass constantly. Right, we'll take the al album for now. We'll put that away for later, because we will need that. Okay, first zombie, here we come. We're not going to bother shooting it. Don't see the point, to be honest. We're just going to run. Let Barry deal with it. Open the door, you idiot. There's one thing I'm glad of in the video, in this version, his head doesn't fall off. Right. Just buggers off, opens the door. Man's going for a smoke, you know. Right, here we go. Another, another video. Right, okay, so let's go up. So I need to, you can literally just walk in a circle, come back down, and you're done. Okay, there's that. I'm not going to try the door on the other side. It's pointless. I'm going to go and get the shotgun first. Well, get the arrowhead so we get the key and then go get the shotgun. The master of unlocking. You'll definitely need it, love trust. Back to where we shot that zombie. Well, where we ran from that zombie. I'm not going to bother facing the zombie yet. Do it when we have to. If we can save ammo, why not? And just because we're having a bit of fun with this, I've got it on easy. It's just we're not I'm not taking anything too seriously. Oh wait. Bullets. Forgot about that. Right, so up we go. We'll leave the health for later, because we'll probably need it a bit later on when we come back to the mansion after we've left and returned. So if you look in the mirror, you can actually see the zombie that we need to get, so... Yeah, I think... is he dead? I never trust him in this. Yeah, he's dead. Definitely dead. Come on, is he going to get up? I thought sorry, in Twitch then. Hmm, no. Alright, let's go. 
we need the arrowhead Let's examine that right so now we can do that first puzzle more ammo perfect you unlocked it because you're the master of unlocking this motherfucker man I hate this one because you come through here constantly this zombie does my head in and it's a lot of acid amount to get you to set fire to your lighter and you can't it uh, you flash finger and all that right so we'll push this off for later on for some shotty shells man's getting about destroying furniture for no reason Oh wait, no. I forgot. Need to put the arrowhead in first. See, usually when you play it normal or hard, there's a couple of zombies out there that are proper bullet sponges. So, I just thought it's a lot easier just to do it on easy just while we're just having a bit of fun but playing this nothing um, too intense so okay so we're going to go to the back of the room Yeah, we'll definitely have that. Okay. Can get out of here. Once you've played this a couple of times, you know the mansion at the back of your hand. You know what's in what room and you know where, what's going where and all sorts. Pretty simple. Right, so we're going to go through the double doors we came out of. But there's another door that was locked because it was kind of locked now. A dagger. I thought we'll do a quick pit stop to this. There's an item box at the bottom of the stairs in here as well. So we'll make a quick pit stop there. Come on, motherfucker. Right, trying to avoid him. Yeah. That was pretty hanging. Right, so we'll move down there. It's this room on the right. So we get the broken shotgun so we can get the working one. <coughs> Yeah. Right, he 
he's not dead, I'm telling you for free. Alright, let's chuck some shit in here. So we don't what right, we don't need that. Or that yet. Or the knife. Um take the bullets though. Just combine them. Okay, sorted. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Is he still not dead? There's another one here as well. He's hiding. We'll get him later. He'll pop out eventually. Right. Now we can make our way through that door we tried to go through before. Yes, I did. Right, there's usually there's a board here. I'm not going to bother getting it because it's just a map. And like I said, I know this mansion at the back of my hand, so <coughs> I don't need the map today. So it's like the dog whistle. And then well, I know where that is. That's where we just come from. Room near there. And I think the light on the table. yep, light on the table. Does me add in how you can't you've got to be in a perfect position to pick something up or it just won't recognise it. Right. Let's get this on, but it's straight outside here. Fucking hell, lad. Shit. He proper lunged him in. Bloody hell. Never had that before. He's well not down, is he? Nope. Oh, shit. That should do. Uh huh. Okay. So we'll get the one down here too. Boom! Headshot. Take the herb. Right, let's uh, drop the herb off. I think there's some bullets in here as well. Yep. Take this. Probably won't use it, right? It's a lot more fun just to shoot fuck out of zombies, really, isn't it? We'll fill it up, right, just in case. The one time that I do always use it is right at the end of the labs, and there's a two zombies on the stairway, so I always use it there because you're constantly running up and down them stairs. Put that away. A little lighter away. That should do us, yeah. That was a bit of a weird glitch, that wasn't it? Right, we'll try and not use this door that much because it's a pain in the ass when you need to go through it um, to the exit to go outside. Right, I'll do him for now. It's this room, isn't it? Shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun, let's get it. Yeah. 
when it's played the first Resident Evil, that really used to terrify me when the roof had cave in, when I didn't know what I was doing. Right. Um, yeah, well, that dagger. I've got nothing at the moment, so. Right. Shotty. Yep, put that in. Okay, okay, let's rock and roll. Right, we've got a couple of dogs coming up. I think. We're going to ignore the room with the bath because there's nothing in there apart from a dagger and it's not really worth it for a dagger. I would imagine when I'm passing at some point that zombie will burst out of the room now, so we'll just wait for that to happen. Oh, wrong way. What's she doing here? Right, we'll get we'll go get the chemical to use on the plant. Here we go. Right. That was easy. Two shots. Oh. Thought he had me then. Not gonna bother with that either for a dagger. Yeah, and there's a little video. Yes, the zombies are scary. She falls over, terrifying. Right, there's a video of Barry. So we need to get rid of the dog whistle so we can get the imitation of a key. Right, so we're going to go straight up here. And it's, yeah, it's the second door, that's the one. It's what we want. Just want to say thanks to everyone that's watching. Uh, if you could give the video a like, a share, whatever, all helps more than you actually know. Um, yeah, just share it, whatever. Yeah, it's much, much appreciated. And we have actually got me and Niall have actually got a podcast recorded that'll be coming out probably the day before Halloween or something like that. Oh fuck! Can't talk and fight. Oh, it's dead by now. Mother. I'm usually alright, it's dog bit. Right, let's get this. So mm hmm I'll flip that. Yep, 
Get rid of that. That lies up. Motherfucker. There he is. Try and blow his head off. There we go. See you later. rounds off. Yeah, I'd be all right. Go through here. Oh shit, yeah, we haven't got the key yet, have we? Have to go get the key. Forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, if there's any any games, not even Resident Evil, just games in general that you think wish that uh, me or Nice would play on the channel, uh, give us give us a comment on the comment section down below. Like I said, please give this video a share, thumbs up, whatever. Whatever floats your boat was much appreciated, like I say. Right, so now it's through the double doors. It's the first door this time. Oh, yeah, and that the first crimson head should be coming alive now as well, as soon as we walk past him. Here he is. As if we've used six shots up already. There we go, that's a proper key that we needed. First time I played this, when I played it when it was on the Wii, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even have the imitation key in it, I was getting stuck on this constantly. I gave up in the end. And then about five years later, I uh, cheated with a walkthrough. Right, so I think we'll. Uh, Yeah, we'll go straight down there and try and get him through that way. I can't remember if it's locked from the other side or not though, but we'll give it a go. Risk it for a chocolate biscuit. Yeah, make sure you don't fire in this room either by accident or anything, because you get all these crows charging at you. Are you are you pissed, love? that first zombie yeah damn it right, but we'll get rid of the key though we'll open this door for later and then I'm not going to go in there and get the bullets and everything because we could just do that later on when we come through the door in there because to be quite honest I don't, I don't fancy a crimson head in there later on when I'm probably low on ammo So 
so what we'll do is no uh, that's it I don't like this analog business with these res this Resident Evil game. I prefer tank controls any day. Uh, where are we going now? Uh, right. So we'll get this jewel. We can get some more shotgun shells. Gonna get the grenade launcher as well. I'm not gonna bother fighting Kenneth, it's just a waste of bullets. I think he's called Kenneth, I don't know. No, he's not, it's called Forest, didn't he? That's the one, Forest. But yeah, I'm not gonna bother fighting him, I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm either gonna skip Jill acting all surprised about it. No need. Shut up. Right, take the launcher. Right. So now we're going to do the gem in the tiger's head, and then we'll put the chemical on the plant and get the mask. Do you see what I mean? Now, what I was saying before that it's you just know this mansion on the back of your hand. You definitely don't need a map once you've played it about three. Not even that. Once you've played it twice, you just you know what you're doing. Hopefully, no one comes alive just yet. Oh yeah, this one that's about to burst out, but it's just the. No crimson heads in air yet, thankfully. I know what I'll do. Sick of this fucker. See you later. Right, yeah, so we'll go to the tiger's head. Put the blue gem in. And get some shotgun shells. Can I ever complain at shotgun shells? Ones, I think it's the red, it's either the red or yellow, I can't quite remember, but we'll get two dues later on. And uh, I think that's the MO disc that we use towards the end of the game. Combine that. Right, now we'll go sort the plant out. the battery pack I forgot those zombies are not the burst through the window on the way out aren't they so right use that red always red if you do it on green it doesn't actually hurt harm the plant it just sort of has a little wobble but it um you can't use all the herbs and you have to put it back on red anyway so just 
just for future reference, just in case anyone is a new Resident Evil fan or anything like that. So, and I know I've just done like a video series on Resident Evil 2, but we'll be doing it properly. Um, on the remake, we'll be doing Claire's story first, and we'll do Leon so it all matches up, sort of thing. Or, in fact, I have just done um, Leon's story. I might just do Claire's on the second run so you can see the different ending. Yeah, I'll do that. I won't bother doing Leon again. Right. It should be interesting playing Resident Evil 4 because I've not done that for a while. Been a good couple of years since I've played RE4. I think these days though, when it comes to the Resident Evil franchise, I think you're spoiled for choice. With movies, not so much because you know only the first two are alright in my opinion. I think the rest are tosh. But I just mean like you've got so many games. We've got even just quite a fair bit of content coming up this year. We've got the Resident Evil 8 game coming. We've got a live action series coming. We've got an animated series coming, and we've got the new movie, which the cast on phenomenal in my opinion. Right, we'll unlock this for now. Um, we've got so many like Resident Evil YouTubers that are fantastic as well. You got like Ink Ribbon, you got the Sphere Hunter, uh, Nicole Tompkins, also another great YouTuber, and does the voice of Jill Valentine in RE Three as well. Spoilt for choice, really, which we can't complain about. Right, so it's I think it's Sword, Axe, and Shield. Sword, Axe. And then a shield. Yeah, that's the stuff. A mysterious box for drugs, bruv. Right. So front, back, so we've got two of the four, I think what we'll do, we'll go get the last one in the painting room and then we can cut through and we can place a mass and then we can get the fourth one off yarn, but I think we'll do that in the next episode of Road to Raccoon. I've not unlocked that yet. Yeah, I'm not going to face you on just yet, I think. Yeah, I think we'll just get the mask and then uh, see how we get on from there. Because I don't, I don't want to make these too long for you because I know how annoying it can be when you fancy watching something but you're like, two hours? What? No thanks. Right, he's not awake. Yeah, that's good. Right, painting room. Oh shit. See ya. Right. I think I remember this puzzle. I've done them all that many times, it's just sort of melted into my brain. Right, no, it's yellow. Red. Right, and then you ignore that one. All right round, and it's yellow again. Red. And then back round. Ooh. 
least who protects for the spirits. Switch at the bottom. Are you going to press it? No. I just thought I'd press all these others and then not press this one. Just do the puzzle and not collect me prize, so to speak. But yeah. Um, yeah. Take the mask. Right, we'll go place these masks. Which way is it? Yeah. Yeah, straight down. That's it. Got some more shotgun shells as well. Told you we'd come back for them. Okay, we'll come back in a minute for them. I don't ever read the maths, by the way. I just sort of plonk them on. Just go through all the maths until it's the right one. I just figured it's going to take longer to actually look at what they have and just, just wing it. I don't know. Maybe I should read them because I got all those wrong then. And again, right, I'm going to start, I'm going to read it on the next one. Right. Swinging, mate. Off for a swing. Oh, right, well, what's this one here? Well, right, mouth right, so it's the other one, the last one on the end. Right, and now, on the next episode, I'll be get we'll be getting the we'll be getting the elbow out using the music sheet, uh, getting the v v uh, vial of anti venom or whatever it is. And then we can finally fight Yawn, and then get the final mask, and then head up to the is it the guard house? I think it is. So yeah, I've got a fair bit to do. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna plonk ourselves in the save room where Richard is, near where Richard is, where R Richard's been bitten. So then we haven't got too far to travel next time. And also, so we're not the other save room, and then we go to Richard and have to go back to where we came because that annoys the fuck out of me. Oh, one way. So we're going to go to this save room over here. The one we went to just a minute ago. So there's the first portion of puzzles done. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go uh, knock it on the head now, save it. So this has been the very first episode of Road to Raccoon with Raccoon City Survivors. Uh, and I've been Adam. Like I said, give a, give us a thumbs up, like, give us a share, all the usual good stuff. Uh, we've got plenty of content coming out for you. We'll be doing a lot more videos. Now you can see my ugly mug. Um, but yeah, we're going to get a Resident Evil series on the go. Like I said, Road to Raccoon. Um, and the day before Halloween, me and Niall have got a Freddy vs. Jason commentary. So you can watch along with us for that one. Uh, plunk your DVD in, listen to us, get your podcast on your speaker or whatever, YouTube on your speaker, whatever takes your fancy. Okay, I think we'll get some of this before we save it though. No, I don't need that, all that. I'll just take the grenade launcher for now. And I think we'll change the grenade launcher bullets as well, because the incendiary grenade are a lot better for zombies, because you shoot them once and they'll burn an eye and won't come back as a crimson head so you can never complain at that don't want that I don't care if it's an old box right yep of that uh, okay yeah so we can put that away now Okay, so I've been Adam. This has been Road to Raccoon. Um, f on a Raccoon City Survivors. Uh, give us a like, thumbs up, share, all the usual good stuff. But yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Um, 
hit the like button like I said. It's 